right uh, okay up to now we have discussed about uh, forms sorry we have uh, in html we have discussed about html basics attributes colors lists and tables object linking and embedding now we have a few things to discuss so that is basically uh, image maps uh, and image map is like not a common topic but sometimes you will get some questions related to image maps right it's not a common one uh, but really so this one time you got a question from image maps but still uh, that is important because we can uh, mark uh, we can embed an image and we can actually so in facebook also the tagging process so single image you can partition and you can tag different regions to different sections so that is done using image maps today we are going to discuss about uh, image maps that is a uh, first topic that we are going to discuss is uh, image maps and then we will be discussing about uh, dues right and css so that is uh, today's discussion actually so forms i'll keep it uh, to the next day because uh, with the javascript and php we can start learning about forms um, so we uh, started discussing the introduction of uh, forms forms we just did the introduction yes uh, that doesn't matter right we can just continue it uh, with and continue javascript we did did we do join javascript no no right so we just discuss small form right i think uh, yes. just uh, about a get method post method and all so very small introduction to that okay let's uh, go there to the document and i think No, uh, I was just searching for a form. So let's say form name. No, that part is not there, right? Okay, don't worry. I'll discuss that. Uh, the coding part, I think uh, we have done this section. So let's open the last day coding. Uh, this one we did, right? This one we did. Uh, how do we? Oh, no, 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 not this one. Sorry. Page one HTML page two. frame sets we did, and then image linking and embedding we did that part. Okay, let's uh, move to the new topic without uh, just otherwise like uh, this is September twenty one page six and. Yeah, let's go to the new heading, new topic today. So that is uh, image maps. Okay. Image maps in HTML. So please write down the heading, image maps in HTML. Image maps in HTML. image maps in HTML. Under that, please write areas of an embedded image can be tagged and linked to different content and resources using image maps areas of an embedded image can be tagged and linked into different content and resources using image maps 
Okay, let's create, let's uh, embed an image and let's try to map it, right? So let's do this as a practical. Okay, here I'm uh, going to create HTML page. You can do this with me. HTML, HTML, open clause, and then the head section. And after that, the title section. Close in of the title section. Then this is image maps. <coughs> then body section. And under that, uh, so let's create image, IMG, SRC, and I'm linking that to an image in my computer. You can link that to your computer resource, and I'm going to save this in desktop. So let's save this as October 16 image maps, HTML. Now I'm linking that to im2e.jpg. That's all. Just have small one image, only one image in my page. So let's say im0. Let's try for some other image. I am zero zero IMG zero zero four JP. Okay, this one. This one is pretty good. You can link to your own image. Right? You can link to your own image, and I'm just linking to this image. So let me open the page. Here it is after opening uh, October. 16 image maps you can see this image in the full page actually i just want to link different areas maybe this area i just want to link this to uh, some other here waterfall in wikipedia here sun about wikipedia's mountain wikipedia likewise i just want to link this to some wikipedia or any 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 other thing right it is possible to link to any other page right let's do that and I'm going to use map, use map, hash my, my map in my this page. This is the map I'm going to use. Map, name equal my map. And under that, I'm defining the area and coordinates. Odds, area shape, let's say shape is circle. And I have to view the coordinates. Odds, coordinates for this area. Coordinates for this area, I have to give the XY position. So let's say from X, 100 pixel, from Y, X hundred pixels means somewhere here. Okay, X from X, let's say 300 pixels, 300 pixels. And from Y, let's say, I just want to tag here, 100 pixels from Y. And then the area, uh, you know, radius. Radius need to be given. Radius, let's say 100 pixel radius. And href. I'm going to link this to uh, another page, maybe. Let's say http colon double slash triple w dot google dot com. Okay, so let's uh, run this again. Now you can see there's a hand coming, hand appearing here. This hand is basically, and you can press ALT key, sometimes it's showing, here it's not, tab key R. In my browser, tab key is show in this area. <laughs> Sometimes in your browser, that is not 
for sure sometimes alt key or tab key is show in this area when you press that so this is the circle that i have created this is the circle that i have created okay you can copy the code try to do that so when i click this it's open in google.com page when i click this area it's open in google and i can open this in a new one also maybe target can you blank to open this in a new page and so open in a new page so that we learned last week okay please copy the code i'll tell you other other shapes but before that please do that and tell me whether you get the results if not please tell me then i can help you so let's move to the next one so there are different other coordinates also so other coordinates means like you can use a area shape and uh, it's possible to use rectangle when using rectangle the coordinates should be again the xy position let's say you are going to start a rectangle in uh, pixel 600 and then 400 uh, that is the xy position 600 from the start that means somewhere here 600 and 400 bottom somewhere here 600 400 the measurements are taken like this right 600 is taken from here to here then the 400 taken from here to here so zero is this one right zero is this pixel this is zero zero position from that 600 and 400 and after that you have to tell the rectangle with ten height with ten height of the rectangle four coordinates here uh, xy position and the radius xy position radius here xy position with ten height let's say with with this 200 and height is also 200 and let's give the href and uh, oh, sorry href equal you can give uh, local resource even right href equal maybe let's say you want to zoom this you can give another image href equal img uh, img zero so let's say let's another give another image and alt alternative text this is maybe in case it is not loaded img image and let's say the target is that target is a new page this is another area okay now tab first tab is going to this and second tab is showing this area 600 and then this xy position first tab second first tab and second tab okay that is the second code or you can give a polygon also polygon means area area shape is poly and the coordinates so let's give the coordinates you can give the first x y so let's say first x is 700 and first y is 300 the next x is uh, okay 700 300 next x is let's say 900 and next y is uh, let's say 500 and next x is let's say uh, 600 uh, okay 6 uh, let's say 500 and next y is 300 so what will be the shape then href so let's uh, go to http all and double slash triple w dot n i dot l p. So what do you think? What will be the shape? What will be the polygon? Is it a rectangle or is it a oval or it is a is it a circle or is it something else? I have your three three x y positions. These x y positions are dot first x y, the second x y, third x y. What will be the shape? any guess first x y second x y third x y okay some something like this first x y 700 300 that is the first x y let's say 700 pixel 300 the next is this one 900 that is far away and 500 somewhere here the next x y 
500, 500 means less than 700, somewhere here, and then uh, same 300. Okay, what will be the shape then? It's a triangle. triangle. Mm -hmm. it looks like triangle, right? That depends. That depends on the so because x, y, the three positions can be like this, right? X, y, and something like this, even. That is also a triangle. It can be something like this. But then that will be this x, y, x, y, x, y, actually four x, y subjects. So anyway, it's a triangle. So because three dots, then it's a triangle. Let me save this and refresh. Yeah, okay. Circle, rectangle, triangle. And I can I can uh, further enhance this, right? But what I have to give is I had to give further few more coordinates. Let's say uh, another one. Uh, okay, 500, let's say 500, uh, 900, and uh, let's say 300 and 500. So four, four now, one, two, three. Okay, this is something like this, you can see. A rhombus like thing. So likewise, uh, if you give five XYs, uh, let's say 400 and uh, 250. Now five coordinates, one, two, three, okay, something like this. Excuse me. Yes. So uh, can we use four X, Y, uh, four rectangle? Yeah, so if you carefully use uh, four X, Y positions, then you can draw a rectangle. But you have to properly calculate, right? Properly calculate. Calculations, you can use the polygon and draw a rectangle also. So let's say, uh, first xy is, let's say, um, 200 and 100. Next xy, same, same x, 200 and 200. Uh, next xy is, let's say, uh, x is 300 and 200. The next one is, let's say 300 and 100. Okay, if I give something like this, the first shape, second shape, third shape, and fourth one. Can you see? The fourth one is this. First, second, third, fourth. If you carefully give the coordinates, then you can draw a rectangle or a square or anything. Right? Understood? Yes. Okay. So please take down the coordinates and you can try when you click that, it will load different your Google. And when you click uh, different locations, load in a different picture, NI, likewise. But this should be meaningful, right? So I just done, I just did this as an example, but this should be meaningful. Maybe set of people, set of friends and their profiles, set of friend, friends and their Facebook profiles. So that is a Good choice, right? In a face, good Facebook profile like a demo. You have a bunch of friends, right? Bunch of friends, and when you go to the proper uh, that his face, it's pointed to his Facebook. So that is meaningful. Maybe his large image, solar system. So you can just uh, use the solar system, and when you click on the planet, it's moving to the particular planet map of that planet something meaningful okay please write down this and tell me once you're done so please write down this and tell me once you're done okay uh, let's uh, move to the next topic then so that is uh, image maps so i'll give this example because learning by example is the easiest way for learning this kind of thing and uh, you have to use this is the map name hash is actually saying that same page right same page my map and my map is the map point in working with that okay then so the next thing that we are going to learn is so deus and css deus and css in h uh, with css with html because css is a different thing Div is actually a division. Div 
is allocating a division or section whereas CSS or cascading style sheets CSS or cascading style sheets are used for styling HTML structure. Cascading style sheets are used for styling the HTML structure. Okay, please write down that. Divs and CSS with HTML. Okay, the next thing is we should know when you are using cascading style sheet, why actually there are some different styling language. Why HTML can HTML can decorate? HTML can add colors. It can use attributes. But uh, there was a situation like this when HTML was introduced and HTML actually the father of web is Tim Berners Lee. Tim Berners Lee's uh, his concept that HTML web pages it came and then in the HTML one version the earlier versions so browsers were fighting with each other to display the content for different browsers Mozilla Firefox, Internet Explorer, uh, those Netscape Navigator, those were the browsers in earlier era and Chrome came later. So those browsers were fighting with each other to display content nicely in their browser. For Internet Explorer, uh, Firefox is trying to display nicely in their pages. They also introduced some new tags. So HTML was become unstru highly unstructured due to that. Because different vendors are introducing different tags. This was headache. So W3C or World Wide Web Consortium is responsible. So the, those are the those are the people that is the responsible entity. So which working with uh, this. Right. Uh, that is uh, basically those those are the people who are responsible for introducing web standards. So that is called W3C, World Wide Web Con Consortium. World World Wide Web Consortium, W3C. Actually, they were setting standards. That is the world international community setting standards. Right? W3C. There is the standard community setting standard for web. Actually, this was headache for them. So then uh, they told, okay, so hereafter, no more modifications to HTML if you want to style. Here, the main intention was, this is founded in 1994 and main intention, this is led by Tim Berners-Lee. I said that founder of the uh, web, right? He's led by him and they were setting standards Right. They were set in standard and the idea of this is to separate the structure from the styles. Why this uh, CSS was introduced later in addition to this uh, HTML? Because HTML browser war, they were introducing new tags and HTML becoming, was becoming unstructured with these tags. Some tags are working in some browsers. That is not good. So they set and standard, okay, this is standard HTML. If you want modification styles, use different language and that is CSS. That is how CSS came to the playground. But so browsers were really uh, happy about that and they were introducing new CSS after that. And the HTML then the Nibari In the CSS then they go to they were introducing, but that is separate styles. No? Styles that doesn't matter. The styling it depends on the browser. You can add any decoration, but HTML don't touch HTML. Keep HTML as it is, so you can style that using CSS. That is the idea. Okay, according to this idea, CSS began. And when you are using CSS, there are three ways of using CSS. So that CSS styling is actually based on a box model. So let me introduce CSS box model, and there are three kind of CSS, right? So one, uh, one is called inline CSS, 
Uh, then uh, the other one is called internal CSS and the third one is called external CSS. Okay, so please write add in CSS to HTML. Right, add in CSS to HTML. Add in CSS to HTML. You can write this small statement, no need to write bigger nodes. Just write CSS is used to separate the structure and the layout from uh, layout from styles. It was introduced by W3C. W3C means World Wide Web Consortium as a solution to browser war as a solution to browser war and also also to provide styling solution also to provide styling solutions There are three ways of adding CSS. There are three ways of adding CSS. After that, you can write down there are three ways of adding CSS. The first one is called, there are three ways of adding CSS. The first one is called inline. The second one is internal. The third one is external. Inline as an attribute called style within the tag as an attribute inside, uh, as an attribute all style within the tag. Internal as style tag, as a tag, within bracket you can write style, inside head section of the page. External as a separate file. As a separate file. Those are the three possibilities of adding CSS. And there are this is a very special thing. CSS creating HTML element as a box. CSS creating an HTML element as a box with four sides. That is top, bottom, top, right, bottom, and left. As a 2D box, right? Two dimensional box with four sides. That is top, right, bottom, and left. And you can draw this quickly. Please draw this quickly. Right. Uh, this has like, okay, this is, so let's say this is the HTML element. This is the HTML element inside that. So, uh, sorry, not outside that element. So, it consider there's a padding. Padding means a gap. Gap between the border and the content. Gap between the border and border. It's like a line. It's like a line. It's like a fence. Okay, that's a fence. And this is our house. The gap between the fence and house. 
gap between the fence and house we can call padding and after the padding the fence is the fence is the border and after the fence the next door the next door or maybe uh, next home or next house so there's a gap between the next element so that is called margin actually order is top right bottom left clockwise top right bottom left trbl top right bottom left is the order of adding these elements let's say there's a dew dew has top border right border bottom border and uh, left border so in the shorthand notation so we can tell uh, top and bottom left and right or oh, very shorthand notation it is over right so okay uh, so uh, for this actually let's add two more lines so normal order is t r b l or top right bottom left top right bottom left that is the normal uh, shorthand notation you can say top pan bottom then left and right very short all around the very short you can say all around i'll i'll explain this with the example then you will understand how this is added i'll explain this this with an example Okay, normal order, top right, bottom left, shorthand, top bottom and left right. Okay, let's see the inline one first. Inline one. With a due, I'm going to use that inline one. Okay, hopefully you have finished writing. Shall I move to the next? Okay. So let's go to the, go to a due. I'm going to create a new, new file this time. This new file, I'm going to name this as, uh, Sorry, HTML, HTML, head, head, title, title, hello CSS. So let's add a division uh, body section. Then inside the body section, so let's add a div. Div is a division, right? Div is just area, a division. So let me save this as uh, again the same date, October 16th, OCT 16. Number 16, uh, CSS, HTML. Okay, under the view, so I'm going to add the style. So style is an attribute and inside this attribute, you can write the CSS. Actually, CSS has a different format because uh, attributes are having uh, the attribute name, then the equal sign, then the theme, within quotation, the value. That is the attribute style attribute name equal sign within quotation the value but uh, the css it's the other way let's say border uh, let's say border um, with you can say two pixels semicolon this is how okay first attribute name colon attribute value semicolon then if you have another attribute border let's say border uh, Border style. Border style, I'm telling, okay, I need double border. Then border color. Border color. So let's say uh, red. 
let's save this and also you can give the width and height otherwise this won't be visible width with these uh, let's say 300 pixels and height is 200 pixels save now different styles are added as a style tag and let's go to the preview and see this october 16 css html Okay, the file not found. So why is that? Where did I save this? Oh, I saved in the getting started. Sorry. I'll save this uh, in the desktop. Okay, now let's refresh and it should be loaded. Okay, now you can see the border area and everything. So this is how you add a style. Right, but there's a shorthand notation. So this is overall border, right? overall border there's a so a shorthand notation even shorter than this you can just say border then everything together it's possible to give border then the width and height actually you have to give separately but uh, other things you can give like three uh, let's say five pixel solid border and the color is black so that is also a short way of doing giving that Right. And if you need a separate border, you can just mention about the side. Maybe let's say uh, top, and you need a padding. It's a padding, uh, not a padding. Sorry, margin, margin, uh, and I need margin top, margin top ten pixel. That means the gap between the previous element. You can see there's a gap. Your okay, margin top that will give a gap. Okay, this is another division and if you need a background color background color and then you can give the rgb color or rgba color even or hexadecimal color code let's say red green blue this is a color code it's possible to give color codes and colors you can give in separate ways right you can this one is okay so let's uh, create another div and border is this one and width and height same width and height and margin top same background color you can give another way rgb red green blue red uh, 244 green uh, let's say 100 and blue uh, 300 sorry 300 is not very right. maximum 255 uh, 120 red green blue that is possible that is another way of giving a color there's another way of giving color. That is red, green, blue, and alpha. RGBA. Alpha means transparency. You can give one. One means similar to the previous one. Here. These two are similar. Zero means full transparent. Zero means full transparency. Nothing will be there. Then you can give 0 0.4 or 5 or some intermediate value. And that will give us some sort of transparency. Actually, since the background is white, you cannot see that. But if there is a different background, you will be seeing that. Since the background is white, you cannot see the difference actually. It's RGBA. A means alpha, transparency level. Okay, these are the color modes available. Either color code or color name is also possible here. Color name is possible. Color code is possible. Red, green, blue code is possible. Or red, green, blue alpha code is also possible. So these are the possibilities. Okay, you can just uh, draw this, create this, and tell this is how you go. You give inline styles. Each and every tag you have to give the style, but that is headache because too much of coding. Each and every line you have to give the. Each and every line you have to give this uh, style. That is headache. Too much of coding. Okay, please write down and tell me if you are done. Right, uh, let's uh, do quick uh, internal style then. So now this is like inline. Inline is, you know, inline is not a convenient method because you have to mention this, right? Mention the style. So several times. Same thing you have to write several times. 
So that is not convenient. So let's replace the same thing using internal CSS. That is, you have to add style tag here. Inside the style tag, so it is possible to add, right? Uh, let's say uh, the same style. Okay, I just want to add same kind of style for all these, everything, all these divisions, divisions, I need to add this style. So then you don't want to mention this separately and you don't want to mention them, this one, no need to mention this one. Everything will be overridden. And everything will be overridden. And when you refresh, you can see every, so this is similar. Everyone will take similar style. But that is the, again, a disadvantage because uh, you cannot do uh, you, you cannot actually give different styles, but still you can give the same style. But if you need to deviate, let's say you want to change the second one, then you can give inline because inline is more powerful. And you can say maybe the background color, a different color. Background color and you can give a different color. Let's say RGB and you mention some value for it and green uh, and blue. Right. So that is possible. So all other styles are there, but only the background color is different that you can give. So here also all other are same, but only the background color is different. Or maybe the border color is, uh, border size is different. Style. Then you can say border. So border is only, uh, let's say border, border left. Uh, maybe border, yes, border border width, uh, top border width is 20, uh, sorry, uh, side border is, top bottom border is two pixels and side borders 20 pixels. So likewise, the short notations, top, bottom, left, right. So there is, it is possible to give like this. Now you can see the second here. Top, bottom, one border size and left, right, another border size. So it is possible to give like that, but generally using, a, using this, Tag internal style is like you can apply to multiple tags. And not just multiple tags, there are three ways of adding that. Internal styles, there are three ways of adding those are called selectors actually. So the first one is called tag selectors. So related to tag. So second one is called class selector, and third one is called ID selector. Okay, please write internal CSS as the heading. And then write, there are three selector types, which can be used with internal and external CSS. There are three selector types that you can use, tag selector, applicable to all the tags with that tag name, applicable to all the class names matching all the class attribute names Matching with ID selector applicable to a specific ID name, ID attribute name. It's a unique ID. Only one occurrence is so ID selector can occur, ID selector can be applied only one time. Tag selector can apply to any number of tags, class select any number of classes, but ID select only once. Okay, finish writing. If you're done, please tell me, because we can finish.
Yes. Okay. So we can do all three styles together because uh, of like, uh, yes, we can finish that chapter style in part. Actually, uh, so there are more styles, but basics of style sheet CSS we can finish today itself. Okay, let's uh, use this all three selectors. Let's see the examples for all three selectors. The first one that I have used is tag selector. Then use, let's use class selector. Class selector start in a dot. Let's say my class. And now I want to have this my class. I want to change the font, font color uh, to let's say font color to uh, red, green, and blue. So this is the font color that I want. And also I need uh, text uh, decoration to be uh, underlined. And also I need font weight, font weight to be bold. And also uh, I need to change the font family to Verdana. That is my font. I'm expecting and font size also. Font uh, size. Uh, let's say font size to 20 pixels. So that is for my class. Actually, this class can be applied anywhere. Here, actually, to this view, you can apply uh, class, my class. View my class. So let's write some sample text. In other other views also, I'm going to write sample text. Copy and paste in here. Uh, to this one also, I'm adding a sample text. This one also, I'm adding sample text. And the last one also, I'm adding sample text. Same sample text is there, and I'm, I'm just going to see the page now. You can see sample text, the first one, second one, and third one, the sample text is different yeah. because of the class. And you can apply, so let's let's make it darker, right? I, otherwise, it's not visible. Let's make it darker. Darker, darker color, maybe 23, 8, 9, 10. Here, sample text you can see. Oh, well, let's let's make it uh, more lighter. E e e e e e. Higher the hexadecimal value, it's more lighter. L lightest one or the white color is all Fs. Red F, green F. I think you can remember the color theory that we learned previously, right? Red, green, blue. Okay, and the text align. I want to align that center. And also some padding uh, with the top, top padding of, uh, let's say, 50 pixels. Okay. That will be added to the height, right? I can reduce that to the, that from the height. HEI, height is then uh, after adding, height should be 150, otherwise it's not equal with the others, no? Because because of the top padding is going down, then height should be reduced to, match the size because height is 200, 150 plus 50 will be 200. Okay, now height is matching and text is coming down. Okay, that's it. And class can be applied to anywhere, right? So class can be applied to any tag, even there's a paragraph, let's say there's a paragraph P uh, and this paragraph. Um, so let's say the class of the paragraph is my class and uh, let's say i'm applying this, this same class to the this one so three my classes are there so you can see the first one second one same style and this is the paragraph actually paragraph is invisible sorry for that why the paragraph is invisible uh, here i have to write some text my para Let's go there and you can see lightly, this is my para here. It's very light. Center, but very light because uh, of the color. 
So let's make it a uh, blacky one, black color. Uh, let's say one, 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 one. A gray color, dark gray. You can see sample text, sample text, my para. Uh, uh, background color, let's change it. R, G, B, A. Some red, some green, some blue. And alpha 0 0.5, half transparent. Okay, you can see this. I need more red. Okay. Right now you can see this text is appearing here, here, and here due to the class. My class here, also my class here, also my class can be applied in several places. Okay, uh, I think it's uh, the time. Oh, uh, let's do the ID also. You can add multiple class selectors, multiple tag selectors, multiple ID selectors, but I'm writing one example. ID selector can be written by my ID, some ID. Then let's say this is unique. This is unique, only one place. Can be applied only one place. Let's say uh, my ID, and I'm, I'm giving something, uh, let's say border radius. Border, border is, uh, let's say, uh, 10 pixel solid uh, black color or a green color border and uh, border radius radius border radius is 15 pixels okay that is not there but i'm going to add add that to the second one second one is this one and i'm adding id equal my id save that and you can see that appearance okay let's align the text to center to let's change the color of font to white let's change the size of font i'm just giving this example to you to be familiar with right font size print uh, let's say 30 pixels and padding top, let's say 50 pixels save and you can see the difference. And then the height, let's adjust 150 pixels. So, okay, done. Now you can see different styles using all three selectors. The first one is tag selector, the second one is class selector, the third one is ID selector, and this is how you apply it. ID select only one place, class selector multiple places, tag selector multiple places. And also inline styles you can add to differentiate. Actually, add specializations can be added using inline styles. If you cannot understand, please ask me. Then I can explain further because I'm doing this faster. Thinking you can understand, but if not possible, please tell me, then I can explain further, right? Okay. 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 okay please write down this. Styling. External styling is actually very simple. So once when we learn this, only thing is we have to move the file, move the style. So let's use the same style. I'm, I'm just moving. I'm just cutting this. Control X. Now no styles. When I display this with no styles, you can see how it looks like. Actually, you have inline styles. So inline styles are helping you display this. Like okay, sometimes you have experienced this. Sometimes when sites are not loading, you will see like half loaded site something. So when connection is not strong, have you seen Facebook yes. or some other sites? When connection is very slow, the style sheets are not loading. You can just see some sketch, maybe the text is there, some few styles are there in line, but other things are not there. Right? Okay. So then, in this case, actually, how do we add the style? So we, we have to remove the style tag and insert, insert link tag. Link rel is style sheet link rel style sheet sorry inside the quotation style sheet and href the location of the style sheet 
So let's say my style dot CSS. So I'm always giving this my style, my div, but you can change that, right? You can give any name. That doesn't matter. href this one, and then let's close the link tag. That is self-closing tag. Link rel style sheet, href this, and type also you can give. Type is text CSS. Still, uh, you cannot see that because I have not created the style. So let me create a new file and save this as my style.css. Just paste in over there. No any changes, just copy paste and spaces doesn't matter. Right? Spaces doesn't matter. You can keep spaces anywhere. And but style tag is not there, only the style. And let's save this in desktop as my style dot css okay when you save this when you refresh you can see the same page again because it proves linkedin is successful right my style dot css you have to save this as my style dot css actually i have saved this in my desktop so don't we have to type those uh, HTML tags there? No, you don't want to because it is linking. It is linking to this one, right? It is linking and this links, uh, this link style is applied here. So you want only the styles, no body tag, nothing is because this is separate language, styling language, no head, no body, nothing, just styles, no tags, tags are just the style. Okay, take a screenshot of this, please. My style.css, take a screenshot of this. Okay. Take a photo or screenshot of this. This is the style in file. Okay. Okay. And this is the HTML file. Earlier with the internal styles, earlier with the internal styles, you saw, okay, this is, uh, that part is not there. Let me uh, copy and paste the example, otherwise you will confuse. And just keep in that as it is. And because the note should be completed, I'm just adding to the note. I think you have written this part, so no worries. And after that, the external CSS. In external CSS, just redo. So this is how external CSS added. You just, again, take a screenshot of this. This is how the linking is done. separate file, the advantage of external CSS. You can apply same CSS to any number of HTML. That is wonderful, right? CSS file website, Facebook website, million gana, billion gana pages. So Facebook can link only one CSS to all millions of these other pages. That is really an advantage. You can, you don't want to type the code again, again, and again. The basic styles you can save as a main CSS or main CSS file or fuse, or you can link multiple CSS files also, right? It is possible to link multiple CSS files too. So more than one style, it is possible. That means you have to add a link. That's the only thing. Add the link. Let's add another link. Let's say my style 2.css or let's say, uh, main.css, anything, main.css, and uh, then uh, you have to create that main.css. Let's say this is main.css, and I'm right, writing a body, a background color. Ash, uh, red, green, blue. Then save in this as main dot. CSS in the desktop. Mm 
background sorry background main dot css and that is added to uh, this one main two css is added now the background color of this one should change you can see because of the second css likewise it is possible to link more than one cs to css to the html okay just take screenshot of this as well it is possible to link more than one css and please write down do that and write down in the book i expect you to do that and write in the book right because uh, can you see that page again this one yes okay sir. so i expect you to do this practically and uh, actually css main discussion is over but i have to show some more examples that i'll do next day so i have to show more examples like menus and all how css menus can be added and all and next actually we can move to the uh, next day we can move to the next section we have just finished under this discussion now uh, we have finished do css image maps next day what we can do is forms we have started okay we can start maybe we can do one example in css how to create menu and all css pseudo classes few things to be done uh, and after that i'll move in, move to the forms and javascript and then to the php okay that is the plan then see you next week good night thank you sir good night